Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us back here at Soul of Genix's channel. As is tradition, we have another exciting interview for you guys today as we sit here with Dr. Ellen Kim, Medical Director at the Dermatology Clinic in Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. As a Pennsylvanian, happy to have you on. I'm about to say, I'm just across the street in Ohio over here, so always see to see great things out of Pennsylvania. Dr. Ellen Kim, how are you doing today? Are you ready to get into it? Hi, Mike. So great to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Perfect. Very glad to have you on. I wanted to dive into phototherapy in general a bit here and then talk about Hybrite. So Dr. Kim, you, you recently gave what I understand was like a very thoughtful look at photodynamic therapy at a recent medical conference in Boston. Would you care to summarize a bit of this so we can understand a bit more about PDT? Sure, we could start with some definitions. So phototherapy, um, the photo part means sun or light and photodynamic means um, you need light plus something else. Um, and so uh, you need a combination. So usually it's a topical agent you put on your skin and then you have some sort of light source that activates that topical agent. So theoretically it's more targeted than just regular old phototherapy, ultraviolet light therapy for a given condition. Um, and uh, photodynamic therapy is used for lots of dermatologic conditions, precancers, acne, um, even for cosmetic purposes, um, but it's being used a lot for cancer, um, not and in internal cancers and skin cancers. Uh, so it was a great opportunity to try to develop this in my field in mycosis fungoides, CTCL. There are some photodynamic therapies that are being used off label to treat CTCL um, that you know have been published but not formally studied. Um, they also have some limitations, so it's nice to, to try to try to really like kind of rigorously study this hybrid uh, PDT. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so obviously th there's room for improvement across all these, especially with early stage patients diagnosed with CTCL. So with an experimental drug like Hybrite using visible light, is there an advantage there? For sure. So uh, the traditional phototherapy for a um, CTCL patient uh, is ultraviolet light, which works well but you kind of hit a wall because after many, many treatments, like hundreds of treatments, it really damages the skin, increases the risk of skin cancer, uh, gives you freckles, wrinkling, sun damage. Uh, so it's not for everybody long-term. And visible light, um, you know, with the hybrid topical agent, it's not mutagenic. So it doesn't cause mutations in the skin. And so theoretically, the risk of skin cancer is low or zero. So that provides a major advantage. Yeah, interesting. So, so with your experience with them in trials, what have you seen that may offer real benefits to the early stage patients? Yeah, so it's, um, I think, really well tolerated. So one of the limiting things we have with our current creams, ointments, and phototherapy um, that we have in our toolbox right now, there are some short-term side effects of irritation, burning, um, sometimes blistering. And while they can be manageable for some patients, they can be really um, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Hybrid PDT seems to have a very low incidence of these short-term uh, skin side effects. So probably patients will be able to stick with therapy, better compliance, um, and, and just, you know, feel more comfortable long-term using it. So that's, that's, I think, a major advantage. And then we did see good results, for sure, um, especially at the, uh, what we would call the 16-week and 24-week time point. Uh, the response rates, you know, hit close to 50%, which is very similar to the other skin directed therapies we have. Good. And obviously a lot of people, there, there's logistical issues in getting into hospitals, getting into treatment centers and such. Do you see this as a therapy which eventually might offer benefits in being used entirely at home? Yeah, I, that's a great point. And, you know, the pandemic really made us focus on that. So uh, a visible light panel would be much safer to have at home than having, you know, an ultraviolet light panel at home. Um, and the risk of like burning other parts of your skin that's not treated would be really low. So it's really could be very well suited to home use. Um, so I think long term, that is something we want to study formally and hopefully roll out formally. Awesome. Well, Dr. Kim, you, you've divin, dived into this quite a bit here. Is there anything else you would like to share with our audience regarding your experience to date with Hybrite before we go? Uh, no, I just feel really uh, privileged that we got to work on this with lots of great colleagues. I want to thank my patients, um, patients who volunteered for these clinical trials. And, you know, hopefully we'll get this out there. It'll be benefit for, you know, for the people we care about. 
Perfect. Well, Dr. Kim, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to submit them and stay tuned for another video coming soon. Dr. Kim, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much.